In the realm of celluloid dreams, where stories unfurl like secrets whispered in the dark, there exists a gem that caught the world in its tender grasp, Petulia, a name that glimmers with a timeless mystique. Cast your mind back to that enchanting moment when you first stepped into the theater, not knowing what the reels held, only to find yourself swept away into a tumultuous dance of emotions and revelations. Perhaps it was the sultry haze of 1960s San Francisco that embraced you, a city painted in bold strokes of counterculture and desire, mirroring the intricate complexities of human hearts. Faces illuminated by the silver screen, George C. Scott and Julie Christie breathed life into characters that lingered in your thoughts long after the curtains fell. Do you remember that instant when their paths collided, sparking a narrative that unfolded like a fragile origami bird taking flight? Oh, the moments that etch themselves into memory, the swirl of passions, the dissonance of unspoken desires, the tender tragedies that left their imprint like footprints on wet sand. And as the years drifted on, the echo of Petulia's whispered secrets remained, a constant companion in the garden of recollections. But let us not linger solely on the wistful. For here, in the realm of random facts, we unveil the hidden threads that weave together the tapestry of Petulia. Did you know that the film's director, Richard Lester, was no stranger to crafting narratives that dance between reality and dreamscape? His unique touch lent an ethereal quality to the movie, like a half-remembered melody lingering in the air. And so, dear reader, let us embark on a journey through the annals of cinematic wonder, where tales of past and present entwine, where emotions are laid bare, and where the tapestry of human connections is delicately woven. Join me as we uncover the layers that make Petulia a timeless masterpiece. Set against the vibrant backdrop of the tumultuous 1960s, Petulia, a film released in 1968, encapsulates the essence of a changing society and personal relationships in upheaval. Directed by Richard Lester, known for his innovative style, the movie showcases the intertwining lives of the titular character, Petulia, and Archie, a conflicted surgeon. Their passionate yet complex affair unfolds against a backdrop of cultural shifts and social unrest, echoing the era's spirit of rebellion and uncertainty. Lester's distinct visual language, blending candid documentary-like shots with imaginative sequences, creates a unique cinematic experience. Through its non-linear narrative and vivid imagery, the film delves into the characters' emotional landscapes, exploring love, identity, and societal constraints. Petulia left an indelible mark on popular culture, reflecting the era's themes and becoming a time capsule of the 1960s counterculture. Its exploration of unconventional relationships and its innovative storytelling continue to resonate, making it a memorable piece of cinematic history. 1967 Chevrolet Camaro RS Convertible, a classic ride in Petulia in the iconic 1968 film Petulia, Archie's car steals the scene as a 1967 Chevrolet Camaro RS Convertible. This sleek, vintage ride not only adds a touch of elegance to the movie's aesthetic but also reflects the era's automotive charm. Director Richard Lester's vision, Lee Marvin for George C. Scott's role behind the camera, director Richard Lester harbored an alternative vision for the film's cast. While George C. Scott eventually landed the part, Lester had initially eyed Lee Marvin for the role. The delicate interplay between casting choices highlights the intricate decisions that shape cinematic history. San Francisco's summer of artistic fusion Petulia isn't just a film, it's a tapestry woven with the threads of San Francisco's artistic scene in the summer of 1967. Richard Lester masterfully captured the city's vibrant energy by incorporating local musicians like Big Brother and The Holding Company, featuring the unforgettable Janis Joplin in the opening scene. The film also resonates with the tunes of the Grateful Dead, infusing the narrative with the spirit of the era. Scenes sprinkled across San Francisco as the camera rolled, Petulia painted San Francisco's essence onto the silver screen. From the apartment building at 37 Filbert Street to the Call of Foods on Hyde and the iconic Fairmont Hotel, the city became a character in its own right. The inclusion of these locations fleshes out the story's vivid backdrop, grounding the film in a tangible reality. Petulia stands as a cinematic snapshot, capturing the essence of 1960s San Francisco with its musically infused atmosphere and strategic use of city landmarks. From Archie's classic Chevrolet to the director's alternate casting thoughts, the film weaves a narrative that reverberates with the spirit of its time. Unveiling the uncredited, Charles Wood's impact on Petulia in the annals of cinema history, 1,968 seconds Petulia has etched its name with a curious tale of uncredited brilliance. While the film, directed by Richard Lester, unfolded on screen with its tale of love and tumult, a key contributor remained concealed in the shadows. Charles Wood, the deft wordsmith, added layers of depth to the screenplay, yet his name never graced the credits. Wood's narrative finesse lent a unique resonance to the characters, breathing life into the complex romance at the heart of the film. A narrative sculptor of the highest order, Wood's unheralded contributions weave the strands of longing and passion that characterize Petulia. Amidst the creative currents, a clash of visions emerged over casting. The studio's preference for Robert Redford as David clashed with Lester's resolute stance for Richard Chamberlain. 
just as he had championed George C. Scott over studio suggestions of Paul Newman or James Garner for Archie, Lester's steadfast directorial instinct guided the film's casting choices. Adding intrigue to the cinematic mosaic, the voice of Mr. Howard, portrayed by actor Lou Gilbert, underwent a transformation. A voiceover dubbed by none other than the legendary actor and director Lee Strasberg lent a distinctive timbre to Mr. Howard's character. Strasberg's masterful touch bridged the visual and auditory realms, infusing the character with an enigmatic aura. As the reels of Petulia unspooled, it wasn't just the on-screen drama that held audiences captive. Behind the scenes, uncredited brilliance, casting clashes, and vocal transmutations wove an intricate tapestry that still fascinates cinephiles today. The film remains a testament to the layers that exist beyond what meets the eye, a reminder that the hidden hands often shape stories as profoundly as those in the limelight. Janis Joplin's serenade in 1968 seconds Petulia, a brief musical interlude in the vibrant tapestry of 1968 seconds cinematic landscape. Petulia emerges as a unique and captivating gem. Directed by Richard Lester, the film weaves a tale of love and disillusionment against the backdrop of a turbulent era. While the movie itself boasts an array of talents, it's the unexpected musical cameo that lingers in memory. Nestled within the opening sequences, a fundraiser at the hospital sets the stage for a brief but unforgettable appearance by the legendary Janis Joplin. The real Janis Joplin takes a cameo role, gracing the screen with her inimitable presence and belting out a soulful serenade. It's a moment that transcends cinema, bridging reality and fiction in a way that only the 60 seconds could muster. As the camera pans through the fundraiser, capturing the mingling guests and the essence of the times, Janis Joplin's raspy voice cuts through, infusing the scene with a raw energy that mirrors the societal upheaval of the era. Her performance isn't just a musical interlude, it's a statement, a reflection of the counter-cultural spirit that defined the late 1960s. Petulia itself showcases the talents of established actors, but it also served as a launching pad for emerging stars. Notably, it marked the first cinematic outing for both Austin Pendleton and Ellen Gere. Their debut performances in the film laid the foundation for their subsequent careers, making Petulia not only a snapshot of its time but also a stepping stone for new talent. In a world where the cinematic landscape was shifting and society was grappling with change, Petulia managed to capture the zeitgeist through its narrative and unexpected musical moments. While it might have faded from the forefront of popular memory, its resonance endures, a testament to the power of film to encapsulate the essence of an era. Petulia, a canvas painted with love, disillusionment, and the indelible echoes of Janis Joplin's voice. Music at the hospital fundraiser features the real Janis Joplin, making a brief singing appearance near the beginning of this film the first film of both Austin Pendleton and Ellen Gere. 1968 Seconds Petulia, a glimpse behind the scenes in the realm of cinema history, 1968 Seconds Petulia stands as a captivating tale that still intrigues aficionados. Among the lesser-known anecdotes surrounding this cinematic gem, the revelation that Archie's car, a 1967 Chevrolet Camaro RS convertible, became a visual icon merits attention. Its sleek contours and timeless design seamlessly blended into the film's aesthetic, subtly reflecting the era's automotive allure. However, a twist in the narrative emerges with the revelation that the voice of Mr. Howard, portrayed by actor Lou Gilbert, underwent an unexpected transformation. Actor and director Lee Strasberg provided a voiceover dub, an instance of artistic collaboration that lends an intriguing layer to the character's portrayal. This behind-the-scenes maneuver reveals the intricate interplay of talents that shaped the film's final auditory experience. Furthermore, director Richard Lester's casting contemplations unveil an alternative casting possibility that could have reshaped the film's dynamics. Lee Marvin, renowned for his on-screen gravitas, was initially considered for the role essayed by George C. Scott. This tantalizing what-if in the casting process opens a window into the film's development, making us ponder the alternate pathways the narrative could have traversed. Petulia, directed by Richard Lester, remains a time capsule of the late 1960s, brimming with nuanced choices that continue to spark curiosity and discussion among cinephiles. Its enduring legacy endures as an emblem of artistic collaboration and creative conjecture, inviting us to peer beyond the silver screen into the depths of filmmaking history. A cinematic puzzle of choices and visions, Petulia remains a testament to the intricate art of filmmaking. These lesser-known tidbits invite us to contemplate the film's alternate trajectories, ultimately deepening our appreciation for its lasting impact on the celluloid landscape. As the credits roll on the cinematic tapestry that is Petulia, we're left with more than just a film, we're left with an indelible imprint on our hearts and minds. This 1968 masterpiece isn't just a story, it's an intricate dance of emotion a symphony of moments frozen in time. As you navigate the labyrinthine corridors of its narrative, you are not just an observer, you are a participant, entwined in the lives of the characters, feeling their joys and sorrows as if they were your own. 
Hechelia isn't just a movie, it's a mirror that reflects the kaleidoscope of human experience. It peels back the layers of society, exposing the vulnerabilities we often conceal, the complexities we grapple with, and the yearnings that bind us all. As you take a step back from this celluloid wonder, allow the echoes of its themes to resonate within you. Let the laughter, the tears, the conflicts, and the resolutions become a part of your own narrative. And now, dear cinephile, it's your turn to step into the spotlight. Share with us your thoughts, your memories, and your unique perspective on Petulia. What struck a chord with you? Was it the way the camera captured a fleeting glance, or perhaps the resonance of a particular line of dialogue? Maybe it was the way the soundtrack swirled around you, immersing you in that world of 1960s San Francisco. Whether you experience this masterpiece on the big screen or through the glow of a digital display, your connection to Petulia is as singular as a fingerprint, a testament to the power of cinema to touch us all. Thank you for taking this journey through time and emotion with us. Your appreciation and musings enrich the tapestry of understanding that surrounds Petulia, breathing life into its legacy. So, let your voice be heard, your thoughts be shared, and your memories cherished. Here's to the magic of film and the connections it forges across generations. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, keep those memories close and those reflections vivid. Warm regards and a heartfelt thank you for your time and interest.